hello everyone i am satyam and in this video we will be learning about more about the array methods in javascript uh, so guys we have learned about uh, many array methods uh, that will help us to work uh, with the with arrays uh, in a much easier way so we can what we can do is we can uh, we have many more methods uh, to learn and we can create those methods uh, simply uh, but for creating those methods uh, what we have to do is uh, what uh, we have to uh, like uh, play with arrays if we want to play with arrays then we know how to what are our tools or what are our toys uh, with uh, with which we can play so uh, so uh, if we have to work for that uh, we have to learn uh, how actually the array works um, as I told you that everything in JavaScript is an object and arrays are also object and you can create object of arrays uh, and you can also create arrays of objects now what this means is like you can create uh, an object which contains about 10 to 20 different arrays array properties uh, like there is an array and uh, there are 20 different arrays uh, within a single object and you can also do uh, make uh, uh, different arrays in which uh, you have different objects so both will work so now let's dive into the code and see what are the more array methods in javascript so uh, so uh, I have created the same array as I have created before and this array contains the five different uh, five different strings hello everyone I love JavaScript so uh, how we can uh, like uh, let's uh, revise what we have learned we have learned that how we can append uh, or we can uh, like add uh, values to the end of the array we can uh, we have learned that how to remove uh, values from the end of the array we have learned how to remove and uh, delete or add um, values in front of the array so these are all the uh, different things that we have learned till now uh, so what we can also do is we can also append uh, or we can also add different elements on the end of the array with the help of the length property why as we all know that the uh, array indexes are uh, always from like 0 to, uh, if we have 5 elements then the array indexes are 0 to 4 so uh, if we want to add something on the 5th position we have to add it like this uh, array name and then on the square brackets we have to type 5 and then we will add those values so but if uh, we have learned about the length property earlier so what we got uh, by the length property is the length property gives us the number of items so guys if we have five items then we get uh, the then we have the indexes as 0 to 4 but if we pass the five value as an index then we can add a new value in the array because javascript arrays are dynamic in nature you don't have to define the size before you want to create that so uh, what you can do is you can simply add that uh, by uh, just uh, giving the index number as array dot length so after that you can uh, like print those values so uh, if we want to remove last item you can do that by pop popping the element out of the array and then again printing that thing so after that we have uh, another method uh, that is splice now the splice takes three arguments so uh, let's see what kind of arguments does the splice take and then we will see what the splice does so what we are doing here is like the first argument tells the position where we want to add the elements like if i want to add the elements on the end or if i want to add elements in the beginning or in the middle because push pop and shift unshift only works on the beginning and the end but splice will work uh, anywhere in the array if you know about its indexes um, that you probably know so uh, you can use splice to add things and if you want to uh, like remove something then you can also pass that parameter but if you want just want to shift other elements on the right hand side or on the left hand side according to your need then you can also do that with the splice 
so I have done here is uh, I have passed the first parameter as array dot arr dot length so what will happen is I am uh, adding the value in the last of the array so that you uh, so that uh, it will not break my actual uh, data so after that I am put in the second argument will tell us uh, about the number of elements to remove like if you want to remove some elements and in that place I uh, want to add that element so the second argument tells us about that after that the third argument tells us about uh, uh, the uh, other arguments will tell us uh, what are the things that we want to add so you can add as many arguments as you can so uh, but uh, you uh, so that you can add these values um, inside the array so splice will work in that way so when I use the splice method arr dot length and then zero and then very much then very and much will be added in the array so so uh, and so these are added at the last position without removing any elements because I have written zero if I want to remove then I will pass one so after that I will print that array so you can also merge uh, two arrays or you can also merge three arrays with the help of the concatenate function so uh, like you we have seen that concatenate is used to concatenate strings we have also used the join method for strings we have also used the plus operator for strings and concatenate method but we can also concatenate two arrays like you suppose you have two different arrays and you want to join these two so like suppose there are two different sections of a class and you want to get the names of all the students so what you can do is you can simply merge them out so how you can merge them uh, you make two arrays and then make another array or work with the uh, uh, previous arrays but I am creating a new array here and then I am simply concatenating the values of ARR1 and ARR2 and then putting these values in ARR3 with the assignment operator now after concatenation the ARR3 will contain all the values uh, of the ARR1 and ARR2 so uh, when I printed that out uh, I get all the values uh, um, you can see on the fourth line of the console so uh, this way the splice works now after that we have also a slice function slice generally slices the array like um, now suppose uh, you want to remove the last two elements or last five elements you can uh, simply slice that out but slice will uh, make a new array instead of uh, uh, instead of uh, like uh, working with the previous array so uh, use that uh, with uh, full care because uh, you might have some memory issues sometimes if your array is too big so after that uh, I have created a variable array arr4 which is an array and that contains arr dot slice 2 that means that I am slicing uh, the first two elements uh, from the array and then I get my array as I love JavaScript very much so after that uh, I can also pass two arguments the two arguments will start uh, will tell the starting index and the ending index so if I say I have the array uh, because the ARR is still the same but ARR4 is the new array that we have created so the second index is uh, 0 1 and 2 I and the fourth uh, fourth index is JavaScript but this will work one less than the uh, second argument uh, this that means if you pass two and four then it will work from two uh, it will work for two and then three and uh, till four but not four uh, but um, so it's it will work up to four but it uh, doesn't include four so it will uh, print it out as I love so take care of that too so uh, now we have some more methods like uh, I have the same array and suppose I want to reverse all the elements actually in the array so I can use the dot reverse method then the dot reverse method will simply like uh, make all the uh, values uh, in the opposite direction uh, so after that I have again reversed that so that we can read our string uh, after that I have uh, we can also check uh, like 
error uh, before going to check the function uh, uh, check that out where I am using that function uh, that is on the line console.log error.every now every is a method that works on each value of the array and then gives us a, a result uh, based upon the whole calculation like suppose if I have an array of numbers then if and I am checking whether my array contains all numbers or not then if any of the uh, uh, any uh, at any of the position the array contains a character or a word then the whole uh, then the whole argument will convert that to uh, false but if all the uh, values are numbers then we get the answer as true so uh, but the every argument uh, the every method will can take a function so which is a string in that case so uh, is string and then test test is my argument that will i will pass uh, so after that uh, if is a type of test equals to equals to string if the argument passed is a string then return true otherwise return false so arr dot every will uh, simply uh, print that uh, out and uh, arr string uh, will uh, send that array and then it will check whether it's a, a con it is made up of all the strings or not so uh, after that uh, i can also uh, like change or fill all the values uh, in the array with the help of the fill function like i have an array and i want to uh, like i have a uh, 100 different numbers and i want to uh, make all the numbers to zero so i can use fill for that and then in the fill i will pass zero as my argument if i want to make all the values zero so i guess uh, this is enough for this video so thanks for watching guys and stay tuned with unacademy for more videos and you will get the full source code at the following link